Hi guys, let's do a quick quick telling time review, okay, and I need you to teach your moms and dads how to do this because they don't know how each hour on a clock has its own room. They don't know that, so this is your job to teach them. It'll make telling time so much easier for them too. All right, our theory is with this fun clock is that each hour has a room, so if the hour hand is anywhere inside this 12 o'clock room, then you know that the hour is 12 o'clock. If the, if the hour hand is anywhere inside this two o'clock room, then you know that it's two o'clock. It gets harder and harder to figure out. The o'clocks are easy smeezy, but as you get into 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and 45 minutes, that is where the hour hand is slowly moving through its room and it's a little bit hard to tell which hour it is sometimes. So by, by knowing that each hour has a room, it makes it much easier to figure out what our hour is. I'm going to send a small black and white clock. Um, I will also send... Um, by attachment, I'll send a brightly colored clock, but you would have to print it at home if you want that. Anyway, okay, so that is a sample of our rooms. Now, here is an example of when we are doing o'clock, or when our minute hand is straight up at the top, that's o'clock, okay? So, I'm having to use a magnet to hold it all together, so it's not perfect, but if the hour is pointing right smack dab at the number three, it is inside the three o'clock room because it's pointing right at the number three. And when your minute hand, your long hand, is pointing straight up to the 12, we know it's o'clock or zero, zero. Okay, so obviously this is three o'clock. Let me see if I can move my hour. No, not really. Just a moment. Every time I get ready to make a video, I think this is, would be so much easier if I had all my equipment at school and this was on the document camera, but it's not, so here we go. Okay, so again, this one's easy. Our, our hour hand is pointing exactly to that five. So if it's pointing exactly to the five, we know it's the five o'clock hour, okay? So these are not the hard ones. These are the easy ones, and this is a review. I am going to send this to you. It looks similar to what we've done in the past. So you are going to decide what time it is. This first clock right here, I'll get a little closer. It's three o'clock because the arrow is pointing exactly to the three, and it's pointing straight up to the 12 for the minute hand, which is o'clock. Okay, I had to pause to get a highlighter, but I highlighted or colored yellow my three o'clock room because that helps me remember that because it's pointing right at the three, it's going to be in the three o'clock room. You do not have to color in your hour. We've done that a lot at school, but um, because the o'clocks are so easy, you do not have to do that. If you need to, then do it. So obviously this is three o'clock. So you would write in here three, zero, zero, because when it's up to the top to the 12, that's o'clock and o'clock is zero, zero. Underneath it, it says color it purple. Well, there's a second page, a fun page. They call color by code because you have to find a three o'clock. Um, let's see, I see one right here. So this three o'clock section would be colored purple, okay? Just a fun way to practice the hour. That's easy smeezy. Great review. Make sure you teach your parents how to do it, okay? Thanks.